everyone. This is Rocco. Um, coming back at you at beta 10.8.1. We're just doing a quick drive today to Saluda uh, just to try out to see if there's any differences. I suspect there are no differences in this update. As you can see, I have the release notes up right here. I think there's going to be just minor bug fixes. And this specifically right here. Oh. It's not going to let me enable it because of the poor GPS single accuracy. That's what it says right here. Um, there we go. Uh, so they re changed the strikeout. So anyone who has... Still not going to enable it. Anyone who had strikeouts previously, um, now got those resets. And uh, now you have five strikeouts. They also changed the word in a little bit to make it look like... Uh, anyone who gets strikeouts will now, um, if not, will get kicked out permanently. Before, it made it look like if you got three strikeouts, you would get back in, which is actually the case. There are people on Twitter who posted that people got three strikeouts, they're now back in with this update. Which is, um, in my opinion, is fair, due to I don't think this camera up here is very accurate yet. It's just not very fair. That being said, I haven't got a single strikeout, not even close. Like, it's called keep your hand on the wheel regardless if you're looking or not. Um, it's basically that simple. I and mean, look forward. Now, I think Chuck Cook had a baseball cap on which blocked the view of his eyes. Maybe that, maybe that didn't happen. Maybe it's because I'm shorter. Uh, maybe being shorter uh, basically allows the camera to have better, better vision of my face. I, I'm not sure. Um, because if you're up higher in the car, the camera, with, especially with a baseball cap or something on, you're not going to be able to see your eyes as easily. Uh, but yeah, I've just never had a problem with that. We had to swerve through that car, which is... Eh, it's not a bad maneuver. Like, it didn't break completely and it just sped back up afterwards. What used to be annoying about those maneuvers, when it would kind of break and kind of like do an evasive maneuver, is that it would just kind of stop in the middle of the road and it's not keep on going it would just, you know okay there's a bag blowing across the road I am curious though about debris in the middle of the road how it's gonna handle that um, being in the middle of the road so yeah this video is gonna be all one take uh, no speed ups no slowdowns <laughs> pose let me go ahead and pop that over the full screen for us uh, I've already looked let me actually show you here um, our map data is already still off. No updated map data. I believe we're using 2020 map data. So, fortunately, that's going to be an issue for us. Now turn right onto Seminary Street. So, we'll see if it tries to stop at this stop sign right here. Yep, still tries to do it. Like, like as if I did a rolling stop at a stop sign. That's what it tries to do right there. Let's go ahead and um, press that record button. Just maybe they'll figure it out. Um, it's hard. I think it's hard to figure out based on that. Uh, of course, this is more brightly lit conditions, different shadows and everything than the last time. But the very first drive we did on eight point, uh, sorry, ten point eight was this drive, and so it should be pretty obvious if it's going to be any different. Also, it looks like uh, we are schools in session. Ooh. Uh, we got the pickup line, so I don't know this is going to drastically affect how this re responds because people are on the wrong side of the road. Why is it turning closer to that car? Oh, there's a person on cyclist, okay. So, handle that. Um, show you the map data here. Uh, the map. 500 feet, turn left onto Church Street, then turn right onto Henderson Street. <laughs> right, well, I've never been through here during school hours before. Now uh, turn left onto Church Street. That is Street. not, this is not correct. <laughs> because of the bad map data. 
I don't want to risk anything with that guy. He's gonna miss this turn. This road right here doesn't exist. Now turn left onto Gaffney Street. Let's go ahead and report that again. So it's never gonna get that correctly, and it's, it never lets me re-enable it on this road here. Let's actually go ahead and now we get it back to Main Street now here. Now turn left onto Andrews. Now turn left onto Gaffney Street. Now turn left onto Andrews. Now turn left onto See, Andrews look at this, Street. See, look at this map data. I'm not sure that road, this road also doesn't exist. I think that's supposed to be this road. So it's like reversed. So it won't make it properly going down this road. And honestly, this drive almost seems to be kind of useless, except In 500 feet, it, it does give a good test um, how does the car respond to incredibly poor, inaccurate map data. You know? The, it does give a good representation of that. That the car needs to be able to make the right decision based on incorrect map data. Also, I don't want to... That doesn't... This is also bad now routing. To keep the route consistent, we want to make a left turn here. And actually, maybe to make it do that. Makes the waypoints. Now turn left onto West Main Street. We'll make it do a left turn. So that worked out well. In 500 feet, turn left to stay on West Main Street. Now turn left to stay on West Main Street. No, it wasn't even gonna check for the blind um, curb on the right there. Wasn't even gonna check for it. That was definitely a downgrade on this version. Uh, pre every previous version would check for that, except this version. It's like it was just gonna launch right through the stop sign. So previous updates would actually try and turn left right here down this gravel road beside the building. For whatever reason, we tried to turn down this to go this way, which makes no sense from a uh, human perspective why it would ever do that. Still a little bit hesitant with the y blinking yellow there. It's like it's you can still feel it like want to kind of like break going past. It could be because it's 20 mile an hour speed limit. And of course, since school's in session about to get out, uh, we are definitely going to stay 20 mile an hour right here. Overall, currently I see absolutely no difference. Um, I'm going to make another drive tonight um, into town and we'll see how that one responds. That's actually one of the last videos I did uh, with 10.8. And we'll see if that's any different as well. It, the differences are so minor. Um, I'm probably just gonna call this kind of. This is kind of like 10.3.1, uh, which basically is exactly the same. There are basically no differences. So like we got a school bus now to continue with. So this is it's just different conditions. Um, made that turn good. Like the last few versions that made that really very good. That this is kind of jerk. It tried to stop for that stop sign right there. That's the only thing reason I can see why it was slowing down right, right there. I'm curious. I've heard of reports that school buses, well, the car will try to go around the school bus. Uh, and it looks like this one's trying to uh, slow down, car. 
Yeah, it did not stop soon enough for that school bus, or slow soon enough for that school bus. It makes me wonder if the yellow paint, like, makes it hard to see or something from the vision standpoint. It's just, I don't know, a large yellow object, maybe it just doesn't recognize it as easily. Uh, one thing, same as 10.8, you got all these shadows on the road, and it really does seem to be doing better with phantom braking. At least it's so much more smoothed out that it's kind of hard to tell that even phantom brakes. Cutouts like this car right here, it handles perfectly. Didn't break at all for that car. It braked right there, it shouldn't have braked for that. And basically we're normal. I honestly, I don't, it, if anything, because it tried to launch at that stop sign, this is the worst drive than 10.8. Now, I don't think, personally, there are any differences. I think the neural net is I can see. I think they just focused on some bug fixes. They had the holidays, everyone was out. It wasn't a very, it was just a pretty sparse update. And I believe that's all it was uh, for this version. It was just a really sparse couple bug fixes, and it's like, hey, we got a new point in lease. Just push an update out in our two week cycle. That's what we got. So either next weekend, I'm hoping it's the weekend after that because I'm busy all this weekend and I won't really have time to make videos for you guys. But I'm um, hoping the week after next we'll have 10.9 and we'll be able to have some uh, good new improvements and see some good differences. We'll have probably at least two more videos on 10.8.1 to test out, maybe a fourth, but uh, we'll see. Uh, if you guys appreciate this video, uh, give me a like down below. Consider subscribing if you're not already. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.